it's been a difficult season. Uh, a lot of guys were able to uh, get some opportunities in play today, uh, but we weren't able to get it done and, and uh, get the job done we needed to and win that football game. Uh, I thought the guys wanted this game badly. Uh, we all did. Uh, they played extremely hard all the way to the very end, uh, which they've done all season long, and I'm proud of them for that. Uh, every experience makes us better, and I believe that in this case as well, and we will be better uh, for this and in the long run for this. Uh, let me give you a couple injury uh, statuses. Uh, Buster Screen uh, had a shoulder injury, did not return, and he'll get an MRI. Uh, Josh Gordon, uh, he had a uh, stomach flu prior to the game. He got some IVs for the game, but he's okay now. Uh, take questions. Chad, what do you think happened? I mean, you, you guys were four and five. So what happened in these last seven games? Well, that's the thing we'll be looking at, and we'll you know do a, a hard look, take a hard look at from a coaching mm -hmm. standpoint, from a playing standpoint. Uh, there's no easy answer. Uh, it's not one thing in particular. You have to look game by game at, at what the factors were in different games. You might not have known it on the field, but during the game there was a lot of talk about among reporters and on Twitter and such about dissatisfaction from the front office for you and even projecting that perhaps that could, they might make a change. Have you sensed any of that from the ownership? No, we haven't had any of those type of discussions. Uh, as I mentioned, you know, this next week we'll look and start reviewing the season and uh, looking at every aspect of the program and doing those evaluations. Expect to be back next year? As far as I know. Chad, when you say look at it individually game by game, I mean, obviously, but is there a common theme that you feel like, hey, if we would have done this differently, maybe some of them would have gone the opposite way? Well, you can all, you can definitely look at uh, the fact that we had some leads in some games and uh, weren't able to finish those games. Uh, but, you know, there's a number of things that, you know, again, we'll get into uh, and we'll address. And at the end of the day, as I mentioned before, you know, every experience – Every opportunity that guys have to play um, is, a, a, is part of the growing process, and we'll get better from it. How about you? What, what do you think you learned as a head coach this your first year? Uh, a lot. You know, it's a, it's a job. Uh, it's a different job. It's a difficult job. Uh, you know, we've gone through and, and uh, had a lot of things happen this season. Uh, again, I just go back to being proud of our guys and how they've been able to handle it. And, uh, you know, that was my goal, was to make sure that I kept the ship, the ship steady through those times. And, uh, you know, again, I, I feel bright about the future. I feel our future is bright. And, uh, and I look forward to it. Shut it. Does any of this kind of talk or speculation completely catch you off, off guard? Did anybody really even consider? It sort of comes with the territory. Uh, you know, again, we'll, we'll get in starting next week and we'll start talking and evaluating and doing the things we need to do to, to make uh, the Cleveland Browns better. A lot, this, a lot of these speculations centered around the players being held accountable. How do you feel you handled that in that regard? Well, that that was was yeah, I don't know anything regarding that at all. I don't, that's not an issue. Shut it. told he'll be back for sure? Has anybody mentioned anything like, you know? Yeah, we haven't had any discussions other than we're going to talk next week on where we're at and make the assessments and evaluations and, and uh, move on. Did you talk to Jimmy and Joe today? I saw Jimmy before the game today. Okay. And, and you say, you know, we've heard you say you believe the future is bright. You know, if everyone looks at this seven-game losing streak to end the season they, and they ask, well, how can that be? If you're back next season, what reasons do you have to believe that, you know, improvement can ensue? Oh, I know, I know we can improve and – uh, there's a lot of areas we can improve in, and uh, uh, you know, every season is a new season, and that's the thing that that I know. And uh, you know, I've been through situations where uh, you have to go through with some of the struggles to get things established and get a foundation built, and ultimately, uh, you do the things you need to do to go through that process, and things improve and will improve. Chad, if, if, they, if they would make a change, would you be shocked, surprised, or just? Roll off your back as part of the job. I'm not even getting into any of that. Um, like I said, you know, we'll talk this week. What did you 
talks with Jimmy and Joe been like during the, this losing streak? Do you guys do you feel you guys are on the same page as far as where the team's going? Definitely, no question about that. Does that do it, everybody? Yeah. Uh, the last question. Couple of fourth downs seem to be key. You guys couldn't get those. Why did you go for those? And then what happened on those particular plays? Uh, I'll speak to the one in the fourth quarter. Uh, the score was 17 at the time, 17 nothing. We needed to score and get some touchdowns at that point. You know, you're going to have a limited amount of possessions. And down there in the opportunity we had at that part of the field, I uh, felt like we just needed to get a touchdown at that point. Great. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.